What is up, guys? Steve here with Scotch and Things, bringing you another knife video. Uh, and if you know this packaging or know this logo, you know what I'm going to show you. Um, I mean, just take a look. This is probably some of the coolest packaging I've ever seen on a knife. Right there, Ultramar. Chavez Ultramar Redencion Drop Point black pvd blade black canvas now check this out this is why the, i mean this is just the pack i mean the logo is cool the packaging is cool i mean just the amount of thought that was put into this the showmanship you know this magnetic box lid just super cool and then ta-da look at that you're going to love it or hate it. Let me put this box away. You're going to love it or hate it with that pocket clip. At first, I remember the first time I saw that, I thought, man, what? What kind of gas station knife is that? Uh, and then I kept seeing it. Kept seeing it in videos. People kept saying how great this knife was. Did my research. You know, did my research and found out, you know, like I said, I'm a knife guy who's not a knife expert, um, don't come here looking for me to talk about what's the best steel, you know, hollow, stuff like that. I'm learning. I'm learning. And I'm a knife. I'm a fan. Um, I think if you're a dude, you know, you've had pocket knives your whole life. Uh, for me, it was one of those old timer knives that was so dull. Uh, I think a butter knife was sharper that I got from my dad. And he, it was his, you know, he'd had it forever and it was just dull as crap. So he knew it was okay for me to play with. But that was my first knife um, as a little kid. So the more and more I get into knives, like there's stuff like this. And stuff like this. Just a perfect EDC blade. And probably my favorite EDC knife. The Delica 4 by Spyderco. Uh, it just gets the job done. Um, and then there's knives like this. That just bring you pure pleasure to hold. Um, and to flick. And to, the action. I mean, they're just so smooth. I mean, it's just super smooth. And here the, you know... Listen to the sounds of this knife. It's just got satisfying sounds. Um, it's it's chunky. It's heavy. It's built like a tank. It's real quality. Uh, and then there's that pocket clip. So it's not for everybody. But I've been carrying it. And I don't care, man. I've been needy seeing this blade um, since I got it. Uh, I actually... I, my EDC now, I've been carrying two knives, so I usually carry a bigger knife like this, and then a Delica or a Leek, you know, a smaller knife. So right now, the LUDT, or this, is what I'm putting in my pocket for my bigger knife. Oops. Um, but once I decided, once I got more into these, like I said, I kept seeing them, kept seeing them. You start doing the, you go down the rabbit hole. You start watching YouTube videos, deciding which, you know, looking at websites, trying to figure out which one you want. Um, and then bes before you know it, you know, you're, you're waiting in the mail for, you know, you're waiting for the mail every day for it to come. Um, like I said, that pocket clip is awesome. Uh, it's a take on his logo, which is really cool. And like I said, man, it's a skull. It's kind of gaudy, uh, but it's not. People might... You know, if people don't know when they see it, they might think I'm some zombie hunter or something with some $5 gas station knife. But, my God, that action on this knife is great. So, let's get down to it. I got the black micarta inlay. And if you can see, now this is new. I haven't seen this. See this? He's got that, that skull key logo is on the black micarta. I don't know if that's something they're doing now newer because all the videos I saw that had people that had the black micarta inlay, that that school that logo wasn't on the micarta. Uh, titanium construction. Um, it's you know S thirty five 
S35, yeah, S35 VN steel. It's super sharp out of the box. Um, when I got it, like I'm so, I've been into buying flippers and stuff like that because that was easy for me. And I saw, I've never been able to thumb, you know, flick stuff out with thumb studs very easily. Um, I don't know, Wes, just have to toughen up my thumbs, I guess. Um, and I saw guys, I saw how fast that was coming out online, like as I'm watching videos, it's just like that. I was like, oh my God, that's so cool. Got it on first flick. I'm like, eh, eh, and it wouldn't come out. It was like, eh. my knife was super. People said like the action was super smooth out of the box. It was, but this thing was super tight out of the box. I didn't do anything with it. I just literally, the day I got it, I went to visit my parents and that's like a six hour drive. So my thumb was completely raw, but the entire time in the, in the truck on the way to see my parents, I was just flicking this thing. And I was there for like four or five days and I'm just flicking this thing. And then on the ride home, I'm just flicking this thing. And this thing has just with nothing but just breaking it in, become buttery smooth. Listen to that sound, just satisfying. Perfect centering. Um, and for me, it's an awesome, I mean, it just feels great in the hand. You can see how it just fits in your hand. It's not like his um, his customs, those are huge knives from the, this is a smaller version of his custom. It's made by Riot Knives in China, who is one of the premier, I guess, knife makers um, that's coming out of China. It's these guys and we, and a lot of guys say these guys take the cake over we. Um, but some of the complaints on this knife were like hot spots that this, that the pocket clip or this, these areas back here were sharp and were digging into guys' hands and giving them hot spots. Well, these were, these corners are all kind of sharp. You know, it's, it's, it's beveled here on the sides, but then if you look on the corners here, they're, they're not, they're kind of pointy. Well, I don't know if those are just guys that were get, getting the knife and just reviewing it and not actually playing with it and carrying it around. But the more you play with this knife, the more you hold it, these sharp corners, um, they round off. They just, they kind of smooth out and it doesn't give me, I mean, I'm gripping down and it doesn't really give me any hot spots, and that's awesome. Yeah, those, those sharp corners have totally smoothed out for me. This blade is super sharp. I absolutely, I dig it, man. I dig this knife. You know, he's got his sweet logo right there. Other than his logo, there's no, and the steel marking right there, CPM S35VN. There's no, it doesn't say Chavez. It doesn't say Riot on here anywhere. It doesn't say Riot on the packaging. You'd never know. But look at this. I mean, with no effort, and it just drops shut, with no effort, this thing just springs out. And that's why, you know, this isn't like a tacti cool. This isn't, this is a completely different knife than my LUDT um, automatic and from Microtech. And that's, man, I've got some favorite knives right now, and that's one of them, and so is this. But they're completely different, and they serve different purposes. I EDC both of them, and they cut things. You know, if I, you know, kids were home sick and I had this in my pocket the other day and I'm making them lunch and threw a pizza in the oven. Well, that's what I cut the plastic off with was, you know, I'm, I'm not afraid to use this thing and you should use it. And if you go to Ramon's website, it's kind of, <coughs> you know, it, he, there's a warranty and he'll warranty defects. And then I think you might be able to, um, send it in for sharpening or something but it's like he's like hey man there's no knife there's no spa treatments on these knives um use them love them um don't you know if you damage them if it's your fault hey tough send it in we might be able to work something out but if there's a defect in the knife or something like that yeah send it in but he wants you to use this thing this isn't supposed to be a safe queen and it's a product it's a production knife it shouldn't be it's not one of his thousand two thousand dollar customs um but those i think are total users also i think he builds those like tanks and he wants you to use his knives uh and i'm going to use it you know it's 
I'm not going to take it on the job site with me, but when I'm home, this thing is awesome. And man, people see that pocket clip and they ask about it. And it's a great conversation piece. Um, this is one of my favorite knives. It's just so smooth. This right now, wait until I show you what's what else I've got. But right now, this is the most I've ever spent on a knife. It was like $299. There's different versions. <clears throat> There's not a lot out right now. There's, you have to go to, I got these from eknives.com. Uh, uh, great guys, man, great guy. I think it's, uh, I can't remember his name right now, but him and his wife run this business. And I got this and inside was a nice little note saying, you know, thank you for the order. There was a little Ziploc bag with a thing of M&Ms in there and a Band-Aid. That's hilarious, man. He sent you, he sends you a Band-Aid because he knows you're gonna cut yourself. Um, Cause all knife guys do, cause they just sit here and do this all day and play with their knife. Um, just super, you know, super great personal touch. Um, that's why I said, I think this might be a newer version just because I hadn't seen, seen them with that logo on the micarta. Um, I think Blade HQ has some carbon fiber versions. Um, last time I checked, they didn't have any, he makes a flipper too. Uh, which was a first for him. Um, I can't remember. That was called the Liberation, I think. And then there's the Song, Song Gray. Um, so there's three versions of this. Now. And you can get them in all different color, you know. So there, you can get this with like a stone wash blade. I like the black. I just like this look. Different color micartas. There was a, I think it was tan or they call it green micarta, but it looks tan to me. I like the black. It just went with the blade. Um, like I said. Uh, Blade HQ has different versions, but go check out E-Knives, man. Super good guy, super nice. Um, and you know, those little, those little touches are, are, are nice. You know, when you get a, when you get a handwritten thank you with your knife and some candy and a band-aid, that's pretty cool. Um, let me know what you guys think of this knife. Would you carry it? I think you have to hold one in person. Um, like I said, this knife was not for me. I think I first saw it on a Blade HQ video and Zach brought that out and I'm like, man, that is so tacky. And it's one of those things you're like, you see it more and more and more. And then you're like, then you learn about the knife and you learn about the knife maker. And man, I was totally down then. I had to have one. Just about cut myself there because I'm an idiot. But super great knife. One of my favorites. It's in my EDC rotation. Um, you know, let me know what you think down in the comments below. Like, share, subscribe. What are you guys carrying? Would you carry something this big? You know, here. It's, so here's a Delica 4. So really, I don't, I'm not one of those guys. I'm not going to get out the measuring tape and all that stuff. But, you know, roughly... I mean, the Delica is a little, a little shorter lengthwise just because the way the blade drops down. But I mean, we're talking, this is a thick, chunky knife, man. Uh, but honestly, it's super comfortable in the pocket. You don't know it's there. Um, you know, this clip has got some super strength to it. You got to kind of pull it out a little bit. It'll do some damage. Be careful around your car, man. You will scratch the heck out of it. Like, share, subscribe, guys. Would you carry this down below? Do you like this knife? Yes or no? Let me know. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.